If you have an espresso machine at home, you're stoked. And I'm gonna help you dial it in so that you can have coffee shop quality espresso every morning from your house. What you're gonna need is Drink Coffee Do Stuff's Hot Shot Espresso. It's an incredible roast, roasted specifically for espresso, that's going to give a syrupy body with a nice chocolate backbone and a little bit of citrus on top that pairs perfect with milk, should you choose to add some later. Let's get started on a step-by-step -step process on how to brew the best espresso at home. Let's begin by identifying a few pieces of equipment that you have. You have your espresso machine, the group head, is what the porter filter sticks into. You also have a grinder. This might be built into your machine as well as a tan. Let's begin with your grind setting. Espresso is the most dynamic way to enjoy coffee. And to get everything out of it, we want to have a fine grind that almost is reminiscent of cocoa powder. There are a lot of different espresso recipes. Ours is 20 grams per double shot. Let's do this together, step by step. Grab your porta filter. If you have a scale, you're gonna wanna tear, and then we're gonna add 20 grams of finely ground espresso. We always settle the coffee in the porta filter. You can tap it three times on both sides. 20 grams. We're then going to use our tamp and try to apply about 30 pounds of pressure. For me, that's standing up on my toes, creating a 90 degree angle, and just letting my body weight drop. After, you'll see the puck, which is what we call the coffee once it's pressed into the porta filter. We can insert it into the group head, grab whatever vessel you're going to catch the espresso in, and press begin. The goal of our espresso is to create about 1.5 to 1.75 ounces. I think this not only tastes the best, but it pairs with milk the best. We want this to happen in between 26 to 28 seconds. The first thing that you're gonna notice is a small, thin layer of crema. This is the emulsification of the gases with the coffee, and it has the most fragrance. You can then stir it in, or you can shoot it straight, however you prefer. I am craving a cappuccino, so I'm going to add six ounces of milk with my 1.5 ounces of espresso, and we are going to make a cappuccino. If you wanted a latte, you could do another eight or 12 ounces of milk. In my steam pitcher, we're going to insert that into the steam wand, press on. Depending on how much foam you want, we're gonna wanna kiss the milk or stretch it for a little bit more or less time. For a cappuccino, we want some more foam. First, I'm gonna pour a little bit of the milk in, and then I'm gonna swirl this just to create consistency before I add the rest of the milk. Oh yeah. Perfect coffee shop quality espresso at home every time. Thanks and enjoy.